Join us now on the phone is Carl Schilling. He's the founder of something called the Advocacy Network. Uh, Carl, welcome back to the program. It's great to be with you, Don. Thanks so much. We haven't spoken to you in quite a bit. Why don't you tell us again what the Advocacy Network does? Well, sure. We were created to help eliminate all forms of financial victimization. And, uh, you know, we, uh, we accomplished this by um, uh, creating awareness, providing financial literacy education, and helping people become financially independent. Well, the last time we spoke, you told me that you had helped save people something like seven or eight million dollars. Tell us about that again. Sure, we're closing in on ten million now, wow. and um, what we've done there is that um, you know we we work with people who possibly uh, are uh, looking at uh, different uh, financial decisions, and um, we're able to do the due diligence and help them determine whether they're in they're getting involved in something that might possibly be a financial victimization or not. Well, it's kind of interesting because there's a lot of ways that people can be financially victimized, but uh, you deal in ways that we don't really think about every day. Isn't that right? Absolutely. And I, I tell you, there's a, there's a strong amount of financial victimization in, in predatory sales. Mm -hmm. And um, this is not illegal, you know what I mean? So it's not considered fraud or scams. This is just uh, sometimes misinformation, sometimes intentional, you know, manipulation. But... Uh, but probably more than 60% of all financial victimization is over $250 billion a year total. Probably 60% of it comes from, you know, sales manipulation. Now, what are some of the steps you, to, what are some of the steps you take to help people, Carl? Well, we've, uh, we, we help people take a close look at uh, some of the risk profiles. You know, I, I tell you, Don, with people, um, it's always a greed factor. It's a greed motivation. We all have greed, so it's not a negative thing. It happens. But people are prone to either get rich quick or they're prone to fast money or they're also prone to the fact that, oh, I can uh, get something for nothing. And those psychological factors are all played by con men, you know, against us. So we, we help people recognize those things before it happens. What's new with your company since we last spoke? Presently, uh, it's been very good. Uh, we are working a lot with financial services professionals. As I mentioned at the, uh, at the end of that, we help people become financially independent. So we've done a lot of work in the different financial areas, you know, investments and life insurance and those areas. But we're helping train the financial services professionals through a process called financial transformation. So through that educational process, which is financial literacy education plus self-development, we're, we're also helping the financial services professionals be more adept and better at what they do and helping people get the right solution at the right time. Once again, the organization is called the Advocacy Network. Uh, they do great things for helping people uh, avoid financial victimization. Carl, thanks so much for joining us. Congratulations. Oh, thank you, Don. Have a wonderful day. Take care. You too.